Welcome back everyone to another coffee taste video. Before we get going though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. That way it'll give you updates anytime I drop a new video uh, or taste test video. I'm gonna try and correlate these videos in a timely fashion with when they release the coffee in the Nespresso store and online. So if you don't have the ability to get to a Nespresso to taste test it, at least you'll have my opinion as to what you will experience. I'm gonna probably slaughter this name, but I'm sure you guys will help me out. This is from the Single Origin series. This is Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe. So let's take a look at what they're saying we should experience. The aromatic profile, Tamuka Mu Zimbabwe is bursting with complex fruitiness and zesty, bright acidity. So that could be interesting, but they go on. You can catch notes of everything from cranberry to red berries and currant to grape. So that is a very, very complex profile. It'd be interesting if we can uh, pull that out of it. Let's unbox it and take a look at what's inside. This appears to be the older style boxing still where we actually get the paper sleeve. I personally prefer it. I've gotten several of the others now and your pods do get slightly damaged when they're just rattling around in these boxes. So keep that in mind if you're shipping or you're getting it through some third party, um, these pods do get damaged if they get rattled around too much. <laughs> Fail. Ah, there we go. So it's a little espresso pod, Zimbabwe. Let's go brew a cup. A little bit of the crema back in. It's a pretty small shot. According to them, they're putting out 1.35 fluid ounces and the intensity level is five. I'm looking for complex fruitiness, zesty, bright acidity. So let's give it a taste. Mmm. Wow. Yes, it, yes, definitely has a very, very, I don't know if I pick up on grape or berries, but it's definitely got a fruit flavor to it. It is very, very bright. That, that's an understatement. Level five, probably level five for intensity. It's, it's fairly mild. I might even go down a notch, maybe down to level four. Um, let's try it again. Yeah, very fruity. Yeah, maybe a little bit of the grape. Maybe just a... Wow, that's interesting. That's really, really good. For a shot, um, I'm not particularly clear where I would use this as a flavor to put into a drink. If you were just going to drink this as a straight shot, I think that would probably be best served for the for this one. I don't know that if you added it in with any amount of liquid, like say you're making it or you're trying to convert it into like an Americano, uh, I don't think it would lend itself well. I think milk would literally just drown it out. It's just a good flavored shot. I don't see another use for this one um, other than just if you like to take a straight espresso shot. It's so mild. The acidity, they're saying, I mean, the the uh, flavor strength level they're saying is five. I might even drop it a full level down to four. The brighty fruity notes, definitely there. It is bright acidity. You can taste it. It is, it is really, really bright on your tongue. But as far as where I would use this in a beverage, I don't know. You're not going to use it for an ice drink. It's way too light. Just a good overall shot if you like fruit notes. I think this one was marketed pretty well. It's a little bit more of a premium. Not by much. They're charging $1.20 on this one. So about $0.10. Cents, a, a maybe category with a purchase for me. I, I don't know where I would use it. 
I, I, I just don't. There was a great one that they released a while back. Again, it was a limited edition. I failed to do a video on it, but it was called Paris Black. That one was on par with the Australian that I just did. It was a great single shot, but you could put it with milk. You could make it into an Americano. There was a lot of stuff you could do with it. So it was a very, very good shot to use that way. This one really falls into a, I don't know what to do with it other than drink it category. So for this one, I would say if, if that's what you like, a fruity, flowery profile, uh, bright acidity, it's a great shot. But beyond that, I don't know where you would utilize it in, in a coffee. So with that being said, I'll put it into the maybe category for a purchase. That brings us to the close of this video. Thank you once again for uh, watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And if there's any coffee that you would like me to review, providing it's with the Nespresso line, please drop a comment down below. I'll try and do my best to get it out to you in a timely fashion. Again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.